This video is an introduction for a playlist with videos for many different programming languages. Each video is about one specific programming language and shows how to use that language for receiving command line arguments and receiving input text from the keyboard. A note for Swedish viewers, there will also be Swedish versions of this video and other videos in this series with Swedish voice and Swedish subtitles. There should be a link in this in the description to this Swedish playlist. Here you can see in the left part of the screen the pseudocode to become implemented with many different programming languages for the videos in this playlist. If you are not already watching this video through that playlist, you should be able to find a link to the playlist in the description below. In the right part of the screen you can see what the final result will look like in each of the videos. When running the program, some arguments are provided at the command line, and here you can see three arguments A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And when the program is executed, those arguments are iterated and printed to the screen. Then the program asks for a name as input from the keyboard, and when the user has typed a name, it is printed to the screen with a hello as prefix for the name in the output. In this example, the program is a compiled executable file with the file extension .exe, but for other languages you would type for example Python or Ruby first, and then the name of the script file. The target audience for the videos in this playlist are programmers who are familiar with at least some programming language and are interested in how to do these things with different programming languages. And when I say these things, I mean command line arguments and keyboard input. You, the viewer, are expected to know, for example, what a loop is and what a variable is, since those basic programming concepts will not be explained. You are also assumed to be able to install a programming environment for a programming language, for example a C++ compiler or the Python runtime, or install Node or Dino for running JavaScript TypeScript programs. The videos in this playlist will not show such installations. The popular programming editor Visual Studio Code will be used in the videos but I will not show how to install Visual Studio Code or any of its plugins. On the other hand, Visual Studio Code is actually not at all needed for these basic programs, but I could also have used a very basic text editor instead. However, Visual Studio Code is nice to use since it displays code with different colors for keywords and variables and so on. My intention is to fill this playlist with videos for at least 21 programming languages. Many of those languages I have chosen are ranked high at TOB or PYPL. And here you can see a list of programming languages which are sorted by the rankings for TOB in February 2022. The following 21 languages, which I have marked with bold text, are those I intend to create a video for in this playlist. Python, C, Java, C++, C Sharp, Visual Basic, JavaScript, PHP, Go, Swift, R, Octave instead of MATLAB, Ruby, Perl, Groovy, Rust, Dart, Kotlin, Scala, TypeScript, F Sharp. Regarding Octave, it is a free alternative to the commercial MATLAB at TOB ranking 14 and PYPL ranking 11. Here is a list of the previously mentioned 21 programming languages which I intend to create a video for in this playlist. 
although all videos may not have been produced and published yet, depending on when you are watching this intro video. You should be able to find the link to the playlist in the description below. The videos for this playlist will be produced in a similar way for the different programming languages as described below. First, I will show what version I have installed of the compiler or runtime for the programming language. Then I start from scratch with a new empty directory and from there create a new file with code which will print the classic hello world to the screen. Then I show how to execute the code and first compile it for compiled languages. Then I modify the code to iterate and print command line arguments and also ask the user to enter name as input with the keyboard and then prints out the entered name. When I implement this, I start by pasting the prepared pseudocode into the file and then change it to the syntax for the programming language. You can see that pseudocode in the beginning of this video, about 40 seconds into the video. Finally, I show how to execute the program, including providing the command line arguments to be iterated. And you could also see an example in the beginning of this video, about 70 seconds into the video, with a .exe file executed with the three arguments ABC, DEF, GHI.